from Detroit, Michigan, please welcome Marlon Bishop. Marlon Bishop on his way to the ring. Wait a minute, there's Filter. And he hits him from behind. Told you he had a plan. And the last Monster Standing match starts abruptly. And some Filter's whack chants now coming out on there over here by us. And oh, Filter got the right jump. here by us. On Marlon Bishop. Marlon Bishop. Oh! Making waves in the world of professional wrestling. And Filter knew that he had to get the jump on him. And here we go. Slams him onto the outside here. And now Filter. And a big splash from the catwalk. And the referee starts the 10 count. That's how you win this matchup. The last monster standing. And he's got the chair. Oh, and he just hit him right in the hip. And now he's trying to take out the leg. Right here in front of us. I mean, I'm getting sweat on. And Filter got the jump on Marlon Bishop. He's hit him in the leg with a chair. He's jumped right on top of him. And how is Marlon Bishop gonna, gonna fight up from this? Marlon Bishop, I got to say, is one of the fastest rising stars in pro wrestling. And he's looking like he doesn't belong here so and, far. And he gets up seven count there by the referee. You gotta get, you gotta keep your opponent down to a count of ten to win this matchup. He's got a table out. Oh, and now Marlon showing a little life, fighting back right here upon the stage. And a double axe handle. All right, onto the steps, upside down. And we haven't even gotten into the ring yet. And now Filter on his back, draped across those steel steps. This is violent. This is violent. I love it. And over the barricade over here by the fans. The last monster standing here. And he's got him hooked and bring him over and a suplex. Oh, that's concrete, folks. There's no padding, there's nothing on that side. And they continue the fight on the outside. Both men down now. These two have quite a history together. Filter came to the aid of Marlon Bishop. They tagged together, but Big Phil Dog decided to turn on him, and he has been a thorn in his side since. And a win here would be huge for either, either monster, if you will. Winner certainly has to be considered for a Rocky Mountain Pro Championship opportunity. Two of the biggest men that this company has ever seen slugging it out here on the floor. They have not even gotten into the ring yet. And it doesn't matter because you can have a count anywhere in this arena. The only way to win the matchup is to get your opponent down for a 10 count. You know, it just occurred to me, Marlon Bishop has not been involved in anything quite like this. He's been in traditional wrestling matchups. He's at a severe disadvantage in his very first sort of a hardcore rules, anything goes situation. Well, but he's from Detroit, so he might be used to fighting. Well, they keep fighting on the outside. And here he comes, and he's he just, just shoulder checked him over the barricade. He busted the barricade. Those things are interlocked. 